running a microwave in your van what do you need to pull it off I have a single Harbor Freight battery 35 amp hours that translates to 420 watt hours I have this 1500 watt inverter and this mainstays Walmart microwave 700 watts so according to the math since this is a 420 watt hour battery I should be able to run this microwave for 30 minutes straight one dollar Walmart pizza three minutes so I should have plenty of power I added pepperoni here we go three minutes so it's running 11.9 volts 617 watts I'm at work right now. You're winning at life when you have a microwave. My job has 80 people and two microwaves. While my pizza cooks, here's where I put the microwave under the factory bench seat. It fit perfectly under the seat. So yeah, not much room for me to put it. So that's why it ended up under the seat see fit perfectly under the seat like there's no there's like barely any room left and then it goes right where the bolt is I did put an extra bungee here but there you go and then it's been a while so let's take a look at the van here Got to work early today to film this video. Very important to run a microwave in your van. Microwave times may vary. Three minutes wasn't good enough for me, so I put it in for another two minutes. 11.6 volts running 641 watts 17 more seconds so the volts will spike back up and then the watt will be zero one zero there you go 0.2 watts probably from the light and then back to 12.7 and here's my pizza looks good here's my freezer fridge combo hanging out on my sofa bed about to eat right now and I don't wear my shoes in my vehicle about to head into work and yes ice cream is always a must-have. I've always wanted to run a microwave in my van, even my last van build, but I never did it because these used to cost a lot, but now they're under $100. I was going to go with the 1000 watt inverter and save another $30, but I didn't want to risk not being able to run this. This even advertised on the sales page that you could run a microwave, 1500 watts. For a split second, you could go 3000. The 1000 watt inverter was 1000 continuous. This is 1500 continuous. And the 1000 watt had a 1500 watt split second peak. So I just wanted to make sure I could run this. You know, I didn't want to waste my time. So let's go ahead and um, see what the peak is. I didn't even watch that. So I'm gonna turn this on right now. I'm watching the watt reader. Let's see what it spikes at. Okay, it doesn't even spike that high. A thousand watts probably would have worked. Let me up the power level. There you go. A 
thousand watts probably would have worked. I could have saved thirty dollars, but like I said, I didn't want to waste my time. So I could pretty much run anything now. The only thing I think I can't run is a washer and dryer. That's it. So there you go. Thousand watt power inverter will probably work. I did not see this spike near to a thousand watts. It's you know there wasn't like some big jump. One more time. Yeah. Wasn't even close to a thousand. So a thousand watt inverter will probably work. I could have saved $30.